subscribe and click the notifications button. Hi guys, Kim here with Art Classes for Kids and I'm joined with Lily. And today is our fourth project of the Fall Semester Art Box. And this one, I hope you get excited because it's clay. And it's closer to Halloween. Yeah, so, so you might be able to use this as a decoration. Yeah, so we are doing a clay wire sculpture and it's a spider. It's called Maman, which is uh, the French Maman. word for mother is the name of this spider, inspired yeah. by the French artist Louise Bourgeois. Bourgeois or bourgeoise. And you can see this is an image of Louise and this is one of her spider sculptures. You can see the people really small. So you can tell that this sculpture is huge in real life. It is about 30 feet tall and uh, they're, uh, they're in museums. You can also find these outside of museums and in public places. And we're going to make one of her sculptures, but not 30 feet tall. We're gonna be making this one Oh, I don't know, about six inches tall. But it's still, it's bigger than your average spider that you might find in your house or just outside your house. <laughs> and to make it seem like it's gigantic, we're going to be making little people to go under it. So it's gonna be really fun. We are playing with perspective and yes, we're and doing proportion. a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. So now we're gonna see what supplies we need. So, so really, you need, this is your B4 project, your fourth project before, so uh, you'll need these supplies and then you'll also need a few supplies from your welcome bag. So you, you need your instructions, but we have the white foam board we're gonna put all of our art on. We can just set that aside for now. We got our wires we're gonna make our spider out of. We got markers and clay. We're gonna make the spider and people out of the clay. Out of the black clay. Out mm -hmm. of the black clay, we're gonna make the spider. Out of the white clay, we're gonna make people. And we're gonna color the people in with the markers. And then we also have our name tag we're gonna glue to our foam board. Yeah, so those are the supplies we need oh, that are in the bag. Also, yeah, and Go then ahead. the stuff that you'll need from your welcome bag is a pencil and a glue stick and stuff that is not in the entire box all together is you'll just need some scissors. Yeah, so gather up your supplies and we're gonna lay them out right here and give you an overhead shot so you can see all the things that you'll need. And we'll need this and scissors and the small clay and those two things. Okay, so take a look right now. As long as you have all this, you're ready to go. We're gonna be kind of moving fast, but what can they do when we move fast, Lily? You can always pause the video at any time if we're going too fast for you. Yeah, and then you just push play when you're ready to continue on. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna slide your stuff to the side, and the first thing you're going to need is take out your foam board and, and the your tag and your glue and pencil. First, we're gonna write our name and date on our um, on our name tag, tag and then we're gonna glue it. Oh my gosh, I think today is... Today's the 28th. Today for sure is the 29th. Oh, 29th, yeah. But once you view this, it'll be a different date. So you write your date. You can just write the dashes like Lily or the slashes, or you can write the words. So next, I'm going to glue it on. You can do it on any side of the foam board. There's no right or wrong side. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys like spiders. People either love or hate spiders. I don't know which it is. But this one's gonna be a cool one. Yeah, this Once is Once you get your board spider. with your name tag glued onto it, just set it off to the side. Okay, and next you're going to pull out. And you out won't need your glue stick, glue stick or pencil anymore. For a while. Well, we're gonna use it again later. But. Okay. Now you're going to need your wires. Now these wires, I've I twisted a little knot in the in the Rubber end. Band. Well, no, right here at the end because I didn't want them to scratch you. But you could pull that open if you want, but you don't have to. Um, that's only if you want really pointy ends of the you know each leg. So who can tell me out there how many legs a spider has? Eight. Eight out there. Well, Lily just shouted it out. So there's eight. 
So when leave your rubber band right there and make sure it's in the middle because it's going to hold your wires together. Okay. So if you're like Lily and you started taking it off, put it right back on. Oh. This is gonna help us a lot. Oh, I thought we were gonna use no. it right away. No, we're, we're gonna bend our spider, but right, all those legs meet in the middle. And you know what? There oh, are Oh, you're eight. keeping the rubber band and yes. you're putting the spider we, all around um, it. We're gonna oh, put clay okay. to hide that rubber band. Here. Okay, now once you get that, that's good. You're going to bend your legs, but you're gonna bend them up high, so watch this. About two fingers from your rubber band, you're gonna make a bend. And about two fingers from the other side of the rubber band, like this, you're going to make another bend. So it looks like this, it looks flat on top and like that. Just like this. Oh, okay. Okay, so you wanna have it go out. Now these, now you're gonna bend it in on the top like that. So now it looks almost like an M or something. Okay, Lily's got a new technique. Okay, because all the legs go up before they go down. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread these out. But they're gonna wanna come back together. But once we put that body in there, now you can stretch them out however far you want. So maybe I want this one out here more. And it looks really crazy at first because the only thing holding it together is the rubber band. But watch what I do. Now just set it down, any kind of crazy shape. Mine's not so tight. So Yours isn't so tight? tight if it isn't so tight, yeah. you can also do this. You can pull this rubber band and you can tie it in a knot if you want or something. If you want it really tight. But I don't know, I like mine this tight because what we're gonna do, Lily, is we're gonna add the clay and it's going to help us out. Now, those people that wanted to open up their, and have pointy ends of each one of the legs, you can take your scissors and try to either open it up or you can try to cut it off like this. Okay, so you gotta decide. Or if you do have a wire cutter. Yeah, you can use that too, but not every household that. has it. You know, like needle nose pliers. You can use those if you want. But we just had to make sure that the younger kids don't get scratched. So you might need, uh, if you want to do this, you might need parents help cutting the wire. Or you can have them just round at the end. Yeah. Okay, so this, I'm gonna have a few round and a few of them straight. So that's how I straightened that one. And I think I'll do two more straight. Cause I want them to look different. Now, Louise Bourgeois, her spiders are uh, like they they look like they have skinny legs, not like a tarantula so much, but they also have bumpy legs. You notice? She gives them a lot of texture. They're gigantic. They put them together in pieces. There's some videos online of, of the making of one of these sculptures. Okay, so I've got a few. Next, I'm going to get your model magic. Okay, so go on and get your model magic out. And if you've never used model magic before, it's a clay that air dries. It's, but you also might know it as uh, marshmallow clay. Yeah, it feels it's, like marshmallows. It feels like marshmallows. So you're gonna pull this out. Don't take the whole thing out because you don't need. Well, you can take the whole thing out at first to cut. You're gonna take about a quarter of this, and how you know it's a quarter is you're gonna divide it into four even pieces by cutting it with your scissors. So I cut it into four pieces. You cut it in half, and then you cut one of those halves in half, half again, again, and then you cut the other half in and half again. And then you have four quarters, just like this. Take your biggest quarter, and that's gonna be the body. And the rest, sit it back in the bag because it'll stay moisture this way. So I just put it back in the bag, and I take one of my quarters. Let's wait for the leg. I think this one's Okay. So put the other three back in the bag. And now we have this, and we're going to make two balls out of this. So what I do is I break it in half, and I'm going to roll two balls. Well, you can either break it in half or cut it in half. 
Yeah, whatever. I just rip it. So I have these two balls. This is going to be the body, you see? Now you can just lay it down if you want. But what I'm gonna do, after I've made my two balls, and after Lily makes her two balls, you got it, Lil? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these balls right over the rubber band and wrap it around like this. So I've wrapped it around the ball, the rubber band and smashed it together so that it can't come apart. So there I go. And this is going to be the abdomen or the, the, the uh, stomach or yeah. the body. The body of the spider. And yeah. then we're going to add the head with the other piece. So you can, you know, it's not standing yet. That's because we haven't bent the wires into the positions we want them to be in. Okay, like and you can shape your clay around the, the way you want your legs to be so that they can stand a bit more, but. Yeah. Yeah. And once the clay starts to get hard, then they're gonna stick together more. Plus, once you start adding the leg clay on, it'll also quit moving so much. I think I'm going to open up one more leg. I'm just gonna cut that one because I want a skinny one there. Okay, so we've got it, it's really wobbly at first. And then you're gonna make the head. If you want the head this big, that's fine. I'm gonna make my head a little smaller. I'm taking a little clay off. Ooh, Lily, you really stretched your body out. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna have like a little ball if you can squirt. Don't worry if your legs are flimsy so far. Because we're gonna change that once we get, you know, the rest of the, the spider going. Uh, the okay. Spider. And just smush it in together, veg. So so the body part is kinda like a ball. Okay, and now we're gonna add the head on. I'm making a smaller head than the body. So I'm sticking it on and I'm smashing it in. And I'm gonna make my head kind of a little longer. I can make it kind of tilting forward, whatever I want to do with that. But it doesn't have to be, you know, a perfect ball. Because her sculptures, the heads are kind of, everything looks kind of smashy and bumpy. Nice. So now what we're going to do is you can take some of these legs and you can round them a little more if you want. So they come up more like that. So you can start shaping this little guy. Okay. Okay, I've got my spider. You know, you gotta play around with this wire a little. Now, with my little scrap, I'm going to get started. I'm going to take it and make a little clump of clay. And with my clump of clay, I'm going to wrap it around my silver spider leg. I'll show you in a view where I have it underneath. So you can see the spider leg. So like take this. one of your... Well, you just pinch off a piece. And then you roll it into a little bit of a worm, and then you flatten it. I'll be repeating this over and over again. But then you pinch it together, like this. And it doesn't have to be neat either. Yeah, because she makes her legs clumpy. Now, if you want skinny legs, you're gonna have to stretch it out after you put it on like this. And remember, you're gonna reshape this once all the clay's on the legs. So don't worry if yours falls over. Do not get frustrated if it falls over because it's gonna fall over until we get all the clay on and we position it on our board. Okay, so next, I pinch off, I take another little chunk and I pinch off a piece and I start by rolling it and I get a little roll like this, stretch it out a little bit and now I'm gonna start, I always start at the body. I'll tell you why. Because I want the legs to be skinnier at the bottom. Oh, okay. So I put this, see how I do this? I press the wire, I put the clay under the wire, mm -hmm. and then I press it, and then I pinch it around it mm -hmm. so the wire is hiding. The wire is like the bones of the spider. And then I pull the end so it's skinnier. See like that? Oh, okay. So I will do another one. So I have 
Yeah. That one I got the clay to work the whole thing. This one was a little short, so I'm going to add a little piece, like a skinnier piece, under it and pinch it around. It looks like this. You can have this thing totally laying down while you work on it if you want. And then pick it up and shape it. It's all up to you. So now I'm taking another piece. So now you know the steps. The steps is pinch a piece, roll the piece of clay, stick it under the silver wire, pushing it up to the wire, and then pinching it around the wire to, hold, to hide the wire. And then, after you've pinched it, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch it, if you can, towards the end so that it's skinnier at the bottom. And then make sure you pinch it. You don't wanna see the silver wire, you wanna hide the silver wire. Alrighty. So now I've got three legs covered. And remember, it's okay if your little spider's laying down. Your little big spider. Because we're, and even, you might even turn it upside down afterwards. I mean, we don't know yet. Let's just keep our spider going. Okay, so now I'm going to do the next one. Roll it. And Sorry. It's all right. And then I stick it under a silver wire. I'm gonna go to this side. And then I push it on and I, I can pinch it as I go or I can pinch it after I press the wire. You decide which way you like it, you know, which way. The, the whole goal is to cover the silver wire with these pieces of black model magic clay. Looks good. Okay, now I'm on the fourth one on my right side. Alrighty, so now I'm going to stick it under here, push it all the way to the body. This is one of my pointy ones. And I pinch it, pinch it. So now Louise Bourgeois, she is a French artist. If you couldn't tell by her fancy French name, Bourgeois. Anyways, she grew up in France, but she ended up spending a lot of her life in New York City where she had an art studio. She's made all kinds of art but these spiders are really popular with people because they can stand under them and they can get a different perspective. They can be under a spider, which a teeny tiny spider crawling across your floor, you would never be able to go underneath. So this, you get the sensation. It almost reminds me of like, like a sci-fi movie or something where all of a sudden the, the bugs are gigantic and they are, you know. How they attract the kids. There you go. So see how I can easily stand it up once I've got clay on it, Lily? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about getting your wires perfect because once you get your spider covered in clay, you can position it better. See, it just fell over again. Okay, so now I'm going to make my other legs. So I roll it. I want to get kind of a skinny one. Sometimes I just pull it to make it skinnier. Oh, you use a lot of clay. Uh, I use about a third of a chunk. Wow. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is keep on putting clay over our wire legs. That's why my stuff keeps showing all the wire because I'm not using much clay. Oh yeah, you gotta use them. You can always pinch some clay off later. Sure yeah. Have enough on. But you can always add a little on. Well, yeah. Yeah, now by the starting to more, more spidery. Yeah. Okay, I've only got two more legs, and then um, this then one. Then you can help me. Well, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So we've got this. Here, I'll give you this one for your next one. Okay. Cause I have a bit of trouble with this. Okay. Yeah. Just push it on. And the, the, you know, however you do it, I'm not gonna be all picky about that. What I want you to do is just make sure you cover the silver wire. Oh, if you've got a better together. way, you can try it out. Okay. 
Yay, you hopefully don't have your legs sticking together too much. This one I'm going to cut because I really want it to be a skinny one. Okay, so mine just looks like it's laying there taking a nap. And now I'm rolling this one. Here, I'll give you that one. Okay, if your legs start getting a little tangled like Lily, just go over to a space where one of the wires isn't really close to anything else. Okay, so I'm getting all my legs covered by pinching around. It's really important that you get that clay wrapped around. So I seem to have clay on all my legs, but now I'm gonna check each one of my legs that I've really wrapped around or that I don't have any silver showing. So if I have silver showing, like right here, I can either pinch it together or I can add a little piece of clay there. So this one has, has it there, I'm gonna pinch it together and cover it, same with this one. This one has um, has a big piece of the silver wire showing, so maybe I'll add a little chunk to that one. So I'm taking a little chunk of clay and I'm adding it to it. This one it's showing. So right now I'm just going and touching them all up once I initially got my clay onto the wire. Okay, so I've gotten this much, but what I wanna do is I wanna make, now I'm going to position my spider better. Like this. Like, ooh, I want these legs in this crazy position like this. Hmm. So now I have a bunch of stuff showing. So what I'll do next is I'm going to bend my legs into new positions and see if there's a better way to stand my spider up. Or what I do is I bend the legs down so my body's up higher and put these legs. So this is where you just decide how do you want, how do you want your legs? So I think mine's looking really cool like this. I, you can even have your legs not touching the table. Like that. So I've got like four touching and four not touching. What I'm going to start doing is just wrapping it around like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it, it that way's easier. Up, it takes up more room, but it's easier to just okay. do it. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, you don't have to take it off. Just no, because that was all like, it was bad. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and move on for those of you that are ready to move on. So next what we're going to do is I'm patching up the body and making sure that I've got all my silver covered. Well, I just gotta cover a little better. So she calls these spiders a maman. And what does that mean? Do you In know? French it means mother. It means mother. And she says that she created these spiders as a representation of the complexity between a parent and a child. So I don't know Mostly if that's... because of her uh, relationship with her mother. Yeah, so maybe she feels like the spider is the mother and then those, the people being smaller than the spider instead of the other way around is that they're the ones that she's taking care of. Or, and that it's very complicated to take care of them or something. So, which it is, it's hard to be a parent. So now I'm adding, uh, I think mine's pretty good. So now once I think my spider's pretty good in position, I'm going to position it, make sure it fits on the board. So I'm going to pick up my spider, set it on this board and go, oh, maybe I can spread mine out more because I've got more space on my board. So I'm gonna pull that out to the side. I'm gonna pull that one way out over here. Once I get it on the board, it's starting to come to life a little. Time to look more museum-y. Oh yeah, there's a museum-y? Okay. Museum. Now she has these spiders in all different places. Um, you know, like I said, mostly they're outdoors in public places where people can just walk by. And But she does have some in museums and she has shows 
and exhibits her art in museums. You can just take your hand and squeeze around him too, like that. Yeah. Okay. So once I get my spider like this, I can take a look and go, oh, do I like the body or can, do I want to reshape my body? So I want to make my, my head looks pretty good. My body's a little bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do about my body is I'm going to kind of squeeze it together. So it looks like the body of a spider. And I'm going to have my head kind of bowing down a little because I want it to look down to the people. And now my spider's looking a bit like that. I see two little spots where my wire's showing. So I'm gonna go back and fill those in with a little piece of clay. And now I've got my spider. Oh, I see one more spot right here. Maybe I need to turn the whole thing around a few times. Yeah, then I can really tell. Okay. I think I've got all my silver wire covered and concealed. Okay, so there's my spider. And now for the fun part. Well, that was fun part, but now we get to make the little teeny tiny people. So to make the teeny tiny people, we need the little bag of white clay. And now you're not gonna need much clay at all. You're gonna have a lot of leftover clay. So with that leftover clay, you can make whatever you want. I've used all my black clay on my spider. So I'm cutting open one end. Cut open the end, don't rip your bag all apart because then you can save this bag to keep your extra clay in and keep it nice and uh, you know moist. So I'm just going to pinch off a little piece, just like this. And I'm going to move my spider off to the side. But you can see right here, these little people. And I'll show you how to make a little person. You're gonna make them like a stick man. And the stick man, you're going to need to make a worm. So what you'll do is you'll make a skinny, skinny worm, and then you'll take scissors and cut it to where you fold it into a little shape for the legs, and then you're going to have a little shape for the arms that crosses over it. So it's kind of like you've got the top of an A, and align sideways, horizontal. Then you just take the, the little scrap and you make a little ball and you've got a head. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. We've got a little worm. And you're going to cut two pieces that are tiny. They're no wider than your finger. Look at how small those things are. And now I take one and I bend it in half and pinch it if I want. If I want it a little longer, I could pull the legs out. Then I make the other one stay straight and I press it across the bent one. Okay, I think I got all mine, but these awesome. two stuck together. That's okay, wait, wait till you position it on your board. Okay. Okay, so now I'm putting a little ball on the head and it looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna do that a couple more times. But we're gonna take a break and help Lily position her spider. Okay, so watch this. You're gonna go like this and pull all these legs down. Like that. Now, put it on the board and decide how you want it. Are you like gluing these to the board? No, nope, they just stand the up. No, nope. just, it's just laying on there. Oh. You could poke a little hole with scissors and put it in. Do you wanna do that? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if, if you want to get yours to stick to this, first make sure you like the position. So you want the legs to go up before they come down. Like that. So once she decides her position. That's good. Now what, watch what I do. I'm gonna take the scissors and this one right here, I'm gonna poke a little hole right here and I'm going to try to get it in that hole. And then I can, once it's in the hole, whoops, let me dig that hole a little bigger. Okay, now I've got this in the hole. We and can then shake I, the bottle magic around, around it, it around the and hole. then when it dries, it will stay there. Yep, now watch. Okay, and then I'll put a little hole right here where it's touching here, and then I'll 
put my little wire in there and then I'll, or you can do my method where you just set it on there. And then we're gonna pinch around all these wires. I might put more clay right here, so that's okay. more bulkier. Okay. So I have a ton of clay left. Okay, so you can make its body bigger. Okay, now let's turn this around and let's put a hole right here with the scissors. And go like that, put that one in there. And then we're gonna get clay around it. And then Lily's covering up, she just wants her body to be a little bigger, and we're gonna cover up any of her little silver spots. Okay. I'm done with the body. And then the tips of her legs, the ones that aren't going in there, watch. I make a point on it like this. Oh, I will. Oh. And, and then, and then, well, not a, you don't need every one in. Oh, okay. Okay. Just like the point. Yeah, it's still gonna stay. And then you could make a pointed, like, like this right here, watch. I could roll this into a point and have it go like that, see? Maybe that's one of the legs. This one. See that? Mm -hmm. Cool. So if you want the pointy tipped uh, spider legs, then go ahead like that. See, there's more wicked. Okay, cover that little bit of wire right there. Alrighty, so Lily's is looking pretty good. Okay, so back to the people. We're just cut, making our little white clay worm, and then we're cutting them into little pieces. Now remember, they need to be tiny. And so this one, these two are the same size, so I'm going to bend them. The first one's bent. The second one's straight, and then you take a little piece of clay and you make a little ball, and that's the head. So your people all just start like this, but then you can decide if you want fancy things. So I'm gonna pull some people off and show you. Oh, that one's stuck, that one's stuck. Which one isn't stuck? Okay, because I glue them onto the bottom afterwards. So this one is just like that. This one, oh, is that one? See, there's your little stick man. It's a little bigger. You can make them bigger than this if you want. You can make their, them have little feet that are chunkier like and this. And then you're gonna color over them. And then you're gonna color them and stick them on to your board. Okay, so first make a bunch of little people. And this, you can take as much time as you want to make the people and as much detail. I'm going to make a few people with you. Yeah, remember, you can always pause the video. Yep, yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit bigger of a person. So I make it chunky on the bottom, and then I go across. That's I can pinch. pull my legs out a little more. So you got your little stick man going. There's your head. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate how to draw on the people. So we've got our Crayola marker. You don't have to copy the exact colors that's here. Uh, as on the board, you can color them however you want. Yeah, if you're like one of these people that loves to make miniature things, then you're gonna love this. Okay, so if I want to make, I'm going to make a, a striped shirt on this one. Whoops, when these markers are new, they're hard to get the caps off. Okay, but then you just gotta wiggle them a lot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pink for the skin color or brown or just leave it white. The easiest way is just to leave it the natural clay color, but here's the options. Because you know what, you got enough to do on the detailing. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and it's hard to draw on this when it's really soft, so I just kind of dot it. So here's my little striped shirt or dress. Okay, I'm gonna make it like a striped dress. And I gotta do the back side to match it. Because we see the whole little person. We don't just see the front side of it. Now if I want that to look more like a skirt, maybe I'll take a piece like this, press it out and make it stick out more. I don't know. How did you uh, break off the pieces? 
Oh, I'm good. It's like a pencil or no, a with scissors. Pick. I use the scissors. And now I'm going to have some little shoes on it. So for shoes, I'm just going to go across. Make some little lines. Something like that. Maybe we can go across. And then you can do hair. Hair I go across for like bangs and a crown the sides. I just leave the faces blank because there's so little. But if you want to put a happy face on it or something, then go right ahead. Now, this is just getting your little uh, person started. After you get it started, let the marker dry on it. And then you can stretch it out and position it. So here's a little teeny one. This could be like the baby one. And then I've got, okay, here we go. And then what I've got is, maybe I'm gonna put some real little dots for its hair. Gonna make it kind of curl up. Then the back, I've gotta make it all brown. All right. And now let's see what color I'll have on that one. That one I'll have a green outfit on it. Gosh, these markers are tight when you first open them. I just gotta bend them back and forth. Okay. So this one I'm gonna have little straps, like little green overalls or something. And then I flip it over and continue it on the back. And maybe I'm going to have blue shoes on this one. Keeping it simple. Little blue shoes on this one. Okay, so now this guy right here, I like the shape. I can reshape it a little, like squeeze it if I want. I can make it skinnier or I can make it taller. It's up to me. Or I can even cut the legs apart a little more like that. And now I put it near somewhere in here. So I just smash it onto the board. When it's dry tomorrow, you can add a little bit of the glue stick to hold it on permanently. But right now, let it just dry in that position so it makes a little flat bottom. This little, this little kid looks like I have, I'm gonna make the legs a little longer and skinnier. I can make the arms longer if I want. And I'm gonna find a place for this. This one, I'm gonna have it touching the spider because her sculptures, everybody wants to go up to them and just touch them. So let's just have that one right there. And I press it down and put it in its position. It's like a little kid trying to hide behind the spider leg. So I've got all different ones. Over here, here, I'm going to lift my spider up and show you my, my most complex one is this one right here that looks like a little kid pushing, a, or an adult maybe, pushing a little stroller. I've got a, a parent and a child. I've got a little girl with long ponytails and a guy with blue pants. And I'll put that back on there. So that's something like that. Okay. I had one that was leaning on it, but maybe I didn't have a spider that way. Oh yeah, that person's holding on to it. So you can add, and then once they're dry, they're hard like this, you see? So once they're dry, you can put some glue on the bottom of their feet and then find a spot that you permanently stick it to. Here's another one that is from my other sculpture that was dry. I just put some glue stick on the bottom and I'll put it like these two are talking to each other. Wait, maybe she needs to be over here if she's talking to him. Let's see. So make, I don't know, make as many people as you want, but make at least five, okay? So I've made one, two, three, four, and now, Lily, I'm gonna review how to make, oh, you, you saw how to make them, okay. So there we go. So I'm going to make another, see, it doesn't take much clay at all to make these little people. So you're gonna have a lot of clay left. You can make something else. You can make another, you can make like a, oh gosh, you can make anything. You can make a white spider, you can make, I don't know, what could you make with your extra clay, Lily? 
I don't know. You can make a little tree off to the side or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we've got, I'm gonna make a few more people. So this one I'll make for the legs, so I bend it in half. This one is the arms, I stretch it out a little. And then this one, part of it will be the head. Okay, so I've got five more, or three more to make five characters. This one, I'll, I'll make extra big shoes on this one, so it has more of a base. Okay, now I'm going to color them in. How about, how about a purple outfit on one? Because I haven't used purple yet. Okay, so a purple outfit, I'm gonna make purple pants. How many people have purple pants? Not many. Okay. My people are really flat. They're flat? Okay, yeah. Well, you can always stretch them out. Like flat Stanley. <laughs> That's okay, you can stand them up. They still seem like people, so there's nothing wrong with them being flat. So, you know, once you get them colored, you can also reshape them, remush them. Okay, I'm going to have black hair on this one. So the hair, I just go, to make people hair on these teeny tiny things, I just go across the top edge and on the sides, and I don't do anything about the chin. Then I turn, this one's gonna have like long ponytails, because I like that one. Okay, it's kind of hard to show up, but anyway, so we do the back of the head all black. Okay, and now we're going to do a yellow shirt. I did somebody with like a brown jumpsuit or something. You did. Put some yellow on this. Okay, I've got yellow and purple. And I'm gonna reach one arm up on this one like it's waving to somebody. See, see my little person waving? So now I'm gonna cut apart the legs a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna chunk up the feet. And I'm going to put this person right here by just pushing my fingernails down. Or my fingers. There. Ah, oh, stay up. Lean forward, there you go. So now I've got three people on mine, and I'm gonna add two more. Okay, this one's gonna have brown hair. Okay, and make sure the top of my hair. Do we gotta goes. clear the back? Yeah, because you're going to see your clothes yeah. all the way around. Okay. So this one will have a pink outfit on. So this one's going to have pink. And flip it. Mine's gonna have pink with polka dots. I see the green. Okay, so mine's gonna have green polka dots. On the bottom. Flip it over, polka dots again. With some black shoes. Flip it. Make sure um, that, you know, th this marker, it actually comes off if it's not dry yet. So it's getting on my little paper tablecloth, which is fine, but I don't know what kind of a surface you're working on, but make sure you wipe it off. These are wipeable markers, so hopefully it won't, you know, stain anything. Okay, so I've got this little one, and I'm gonna put this person way over here. There you go, see, now you can tell the scale of this 
gigantic spider because there's little people looking up to it. Here's my fifth one. And what color haven't I used yet? I haven't used blue. So I'm going to have blue pants. Flip it over. I can pick it up as I'm coloring it too. If it's easier to just pick it up. Then just pick it up. Okay. That one's there and that one's going to have a orange shirt. Okay, now I need hair. That one could have yellowish hair, maybe. I haven't had yellow hair yet. Oh, the yellow hair doesn't show up so much. How about yellow with orange hair? Little bangs. Okay, and then the shirt needs a little more color. I'm gonna add a little red to it. Okay. And I'll do brown shoes, and then I think I'm good to go with this little guy. Okay. Okay, so I've got my simple little guy here. His legs stuck back together, so I'm gonna cut those open again. Oh, my finger, look at that, my fingers. There's so much markers on them. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this guy over here like he's friends with this girl and they're on a date to go see the spider sculpture. Right there. So add as many people as you want. So far, I've got five people on my sculpture. You see? I think it's looking pretty cool. What do you think, Lily? Oh, wow, really good. Okay, so Lily's got five, I've got five, and now we're about ready for our big reveal. So, as we mentioned before, you can take as much time as you'd like. You can... Uh, Pause the video. Yeah, and you can make as many little figures as you want. Maybe it's a really busy day at the spider. Maybe you want people to be holding hands. Maybe you want somebody to be on somebody's shoulders trying to reach up. Maybe you have somebody trying to climb up the spider. Oh, you can get really you creative. You can't climb up an art thing. But you can when you make your own sculpture. Oh. <laughs> That's the beauty of all this. So, are you ready to show us yours, Lily? Yeah. All righty. And remember, you have that extra clay to make whatever you want. And here we go, holding it up. Ta-da! Now, the big difference is I just laid my spider on my board, but Lily, she actually poked into the board and put the ends of the wires in the board, which you can also do. And hopefully, yours was really fun to make, and you made a lot of little people, and we would love to see how yours turned out. So how do they do that, Lily? Well, you can post your photo on Instagram and tag it with my classes for kids, or you can email us at kibbenartclassesforkids.com with your photo of your spider. Yeah, and until we see you next time, next week for our next project, keep, keep making, making cool art. art.